welcome to chapter six, using selection brushes within the ZBrush core. So there are two selection brushes found within the ZBrush core, and they're located here at the bottom of our UI. You can see there's a select lasso and a select rect. Now to engage these brushes, we must always hold down the control and shift key. You'll notice that when the control and shift key are pressed, we now have our select rec tangle selection brush selected. Also notice at the top left here in the major brush icon that select rec is also the selected brush. So when we click on this icon, you notice that both brushes are also here for selection. So to engage the selection brushes, we hold down the control shift key and begin to draw out a selection. You'll notice that the select rec is drawing a squared box out for selection. Let's go ahead and switch to our select lasso by again holding the control and shift and tapping on our select lasso. Now that we have that brush selected, let's see what we can do with these selection brushes. Holding down the control and shift key, I'm going to begin to draw out a lasso selection so only the head is in this green bubble. Now the key thing to understand here is when I begin to hold down the control shift and start drawing out my selection, I can now let go of the control shift, but my pen must always stay pressed to my Cintiq or tablet. And then when I'm done with my selection, I can pull up the pen and you can see the only thing that's left visible is the dog head, which was in that green bubble. Everything else is now hidden in the background. This allows us to just focus on a certain section of our sculpt or even allows us to start selecting out pieces that might be blocking other parts of our sculpt so that we can get to those blocked portions. So let's go through this again. We are going to hold down the control and shift key. And we're going to begin to draw out our lasso. We're going to let go of that control shift key as we're continuing to draw but always maintaining pen pressure on the tablet and our Cintiq. And when we're done with our selection, we just pull the pen up and you can see only the head is now left for visibility. Now we're gonna definitely wanna bring back the whole dog because we're not deleting anything. We're just hiding and showing portions of the mesh. So to bring the whole dog back to be visible, we're again gonna hold down that control and shift key and we're gonna tap uh, anywhere in the open document. Let's try that again. We're going to hold down the control and shift key and we're going to tap anywhere in the document and you can see the whole dog is now visible. So with that we can hide and show portions but we also can do a little bit more with the selection brush in that we can control what portions of the dog is selected and what portion of the dog needs to be hidden. So what I mean by this is we're going to hold down that control and shift key and we're going to maybe select out the whole top half of the dog. So what's going to be hidden is the bottom portions of the legs. Notice that when we did this selection that we also got the back and front end of our dog. This is because this brush is camera dependent so it can only look forward straight ahead. So however the model is positioned to that forward looking straight ahead position, that is what's going to be selected. So if I was to hold down the control shift key and make a selection here, both legs will actually end up being selected. So I'm going to undo that and then see if I did that same thing here, since only the dog head is the visible piece in that green selection, that's all that is shown. So moving on, we're going to have times where maybe we have selected too much of our dog and we want to hide more of it. So to do this, we're going to hold down the control and shift key. We're going to begin to draw out our lasso selection. Remember, we can let go of our control shift key and this is why that becomes very important. We're now going to hold only the alt key Why the pen is still being pressed to the tablet or our Cintiq and you'll see that that selection green has now turned to a selection red. This means whatever is in the red will now be hidden. And because we already have portions of our dog hidden, that is just added to that hidden selection. 
And we can see this selection by actually inversing our selection. So to inverse our selection, we hold down the control and shift, and we just click and drag anywhere in the open document, and now you can have the portion that was once hidden now visible. And we can swap that again, again, holding the control and shift key, and click and dragging anywhere in that open document. So it doesn't matter where we drag or how big that drag is, ZBrush Core will automatically swap between the hidden and what's visible. And we can continue now, again, holding the Control and Shift key, click and dragging out our selection. Now holding the Alt key, we'll hide that portion that was in the red with the rest of the dog that already is hidden. So let's bring everything back by holding down that Control and Shift key and tapping on our document. And the last thing I want to point out is this brush will work symmetrically. So if I want to turn symmetry on, again, that shortcut is the letter X. So you can see now that X was pressed, the little red square that was over here is now off. If I press it again, you can see now that's on. So if I did a selection like this, you'll see both paws are actually selected. If I was to turn off my symmetry and do that same process, you can see only one of the paws is now selected. So again, holding down that control shift key and tapping on the document brings everything back again. Thank you for watching this chapter. We look forward to seeing you in chapter seven, discovering Dynamesh. Thank you for watching and happy ZBrush.